452 WSG. You are not going to want to miss today's episode as we are in Atchison, Kansas, where Brian told us about Billy Bob and Mary. Billy Bob and Mary, as far as I understand, they were high school sweethearts who went missing in their 70s. And Brian, are we kind of under the impression that maybe this was a end of life that they kind of just went off into the sunset and possibly into the river here? From the understanding that we have locally, yes, that's a possibility. The vehicle has never been found. So it is the top choice of what happened to them. So this is one episode you are not going to want to miss. happy that you are here with us on and this as we're coming to the end of our 2020 road trip tour we've uh, been working on we worked on Natalie we worked on Bill Simmons we worked on Randy Leach we worked on Ethan we've worked on Karina, Karina. I, I've lost track Nicole. of how many and now here we are working on Billy Bob and Mary and, and I, his first name is Billy but he went by Bob I've been calling him Billy Bob do people go by Billy Bob or they just call him straight up Bob I think everybody predominantly just called him Bob all right so can you tell us about the, the river here? I mean, I see a lot of swirling. This is, we are back in the Missouri rivers where we're at, which is, this thing can be a beast. Oh yeah, and you're, we're right about in the middle of the second longest bend of it. It's seven miles on this bend before it straightens out or turns another direction. Right, yeah, because you actually have the swirling going on here with the eddy. We got the boat ramp here, and we actually have two boat ramps that we're gonna be looking at today. So it kind of settles off just right here, but yeah, as soon as we get back out in the river, it starts to pick up again. Do you know what type of searches took place during the time back in 2009 and have any searches taken place since? I don't, they did a lot of kind of foot searching, looking mainly for the vehicle. They did have, I want to say it was Lee Summit Search and Rescue. Sounds about right. They come up and they did go through the area. They did locate a few vehicles, but they didn't see, I think they only seen one that they thought might have been viable. My understanding, I wasn't there when they were doing the searches, right? So, this is secondhand information from third parties, okay? But that was my understanding, yeah. And it, some of it come from Kurt on because he was up there with them, he actually went on all the boat with them a little bit, okay? So. And just bringing you up to speed as to who Kurt is Kurt is their son who might actually be joining us later today, so we'll see if he can come down and give us a little bit more information today. So, I said we uh, get the boat out, we start scanning, start marking. I don't think we uh, do a tow truck today. I think we're gonna do a two part of this to this one. Mm -hmm. Let's suit up and see what we can find today yeah. as far as vehicles and maybe we can uh, find them right off the bat. Hopefully it sounds good, man. Set up all of our settings here. We'll go to a, let's go 35 right now. Yeah, 40. 40 sounds good. And by 40, if this is your first time here, what I am uh, referring to, we're casting 40 to the left, 40 to the right. This is side scan that I have set up right now. So anything that you see black here is water column. So you see the depth here. So eight feet, you'll see eight feet here. And so this is the bottom, this is water column. This is our down imaging. So down imaging is just pointing straight down. And so it shows you like your depth. So see how we just dropped to, you know, 15, 18, see? that corresponds with the bottom there. So anyway, so hope that uh, brings you up to speed as to how we're looking at this, and then we're looking for objects. So based on scale, you know, 10, 20, 40, or 30, 40. So if we're looking for a car, a car is gonna be about that size and range. So anyway, help me look for a car, here we go. Brian was saying that they only stopped their search at the bridge. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, so let's go like half a mile down past the bridge at least today. That sounds good. Oh, Sam, 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 Sam. I've always wanted to, Sam. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> you have a flashlight? No, we don't need a flashlight. There's enough light, let's just. <laughs> All right. oh. And this is where the two innocent 
boaters uh. end up accidentally running into like this whole drug operation. People come out with like AKs and everything else. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Oh. Hello down there. How far does this go? I don't know. We might need to come. We might need to come back with flashlights. <laughs> I told you we needed a light. Well, you got your uh, I got phone. my phone. I'll try. I don't think my phone's gonna do really well. Whoa. Yeah, my phone's not doing it. You got good lights back on. How deep is the camera? Uh, oh, we're only at one and a half feet right here. One and a half? Oh, we're gonna hit bottom. Here, flip up the sonar. So that way we don't like bust it out. Yeah, don't we'll do that. We should probably not go any further. Let's yeah, let's come back with bigger flashlights. Yeah. It just got really dark, and the camera doesn't even show up now. Yeah. Tell us some scary stories. Well, it was a dark and stormy night inside of the cave. I'm getting a call from Corey. One of my buddies right now. I'll tell you the story of the one-legged man. My buddy Corey is an amputee. Yeah, that's really cool. We need like we need to go back with flashlight. I mean, right now we're working. We got stuff to do. But later on, you know, when it's dark and we can't work anymore, then we need to go exploring. Get get Dan. Get Dan. You guys can all we all wear our rubber boots, and you guys can wear your waders. Want to see how far we can go? Yeah. Under the city of yeah. Atchison. Under the city of Atchison. Upside down. Car. Does that look like it? Or is it just so I want to see it? I think you want to see it. It's like a I mean I see what you're I see where you're looking at there. Yeah. It's like a rock and you're thinking those might yeah, be a I wheel. Right. We, that looks like a wheel and a wheel. Let's throw a 360 on it. But I'm thinking it's so it's that bush right there. Alright, that's the one I want to get lined up with. Yeah, if we hold really still, I might be able to just do this. Yeah, it's just a rock. Yeah. So anyway, so with that, yeah, we're trying to hold position whenever we're scanning. So we don't want to turn. Nope. We gotta play the, play the statue game. And we also don't want to go at a uh, you know over half a mile an hour. And then if we spot something, then we can like finish stopping, park on it, and get a really good scan and read on it. Yes. But the side scan is faster to cover a lot of territory. This going gives us a lot more detail. Yeah, more so. detail. Like, what does that look like right there? On the bottom. I don't know. Let's see if we can put a uh, magnet just down, drag on the bottom, make sure it's your pull magnet, and then I'll pull us up river a little bit and just drag you right over the top of it. Let's see, what, see if we can yeah. snag it. No, well, it feels like it's, I mean, look at this. I mean, look at how this line just goes straight out. It's like yeah. we're just flying it like a kite. As a fast current. Yeah, it's super fast. All right, so let's, get, go, let's go get some grappling hooks. <laughs> Kurt, how are you? Hi. So I'm all safe. right. Good. Kurt. Nice to meet you. So uh, you caught wind that we were in town? Yeah. 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 Brian, uh, yeah, Brian uh, had told us about this one. He found out that we were going on a 2020 uh, road trip to see how many families we could help out along the way. And this one came up uh, in and out and we were able to fit it in. So right now where we're at is we've identified two vehicles. We're not able to tell like what kind of cars they are. One of them is down just past the tree there, about another 30, 40 feet. And then we just now spotted another one coming up a uh, river here. Hmm. So with that one, I think that the first one is upside down. I couldn't quite tell. The second one I think was right side up. <laughs> so, so can you kind of bring us up to speed as to, you know, your parents and, you know, what your belief is that may have happened to them? I mean, do you believe that they ended up in the river on purpose, on accident? It's speculation, but... My mom, you ever known anybody with Alzheimer's? Not personally. Okay. It's one of the cruelest diseases because it robs you of who you are. And my mom was the most nicest, friendliest, outgoing person that you ever saw, you know. But the Alzheimer's, it, it turns your personality 180 degrees around. And that last summer, my dad was woke up at three in the morning or so 
three or four times by mom hitting him on the head with a big glass ashtray. Oh man. Where's my money? Where's my keys and everything, you know? And my dad was fairly big and powerful, you know? My mom was really small and petite. Uh, growing up, I, I, I think they had three fights in all that time, you know? And there's never any physicality. So you know, high, high school sweethearts that lived yeah, their life and they loved yeah, each other to 53 death. 53 years married, almost 54 oh. when they disappeared. From experience, when I, I wake up suddenly like that, I, I lash out. I'm, I, I can just see my dad just knocking her and her, she hitting her head. I'm not going to jail for this. And his life was pretty much over at that point anyway. He couldn't do anything he wanted to do, you know, at the time. At, at that t point in time. So, I, I really like my speculation a lot better is, is that he had such a love for her with the Alzheimer's and she asked him, you know, hey, this needs to be our time that they went off into the sunset. No, 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 I don't see that. My dad it's, wasn't it's a much better story for my, me. My dad around. wasn't the ro most romantic person, <laughs> as, that's All for right. sure. All right. <laughs> but uh, he did love my mom, I, I can vouch for that, yeah. so. Well, we're gonna uh, do what we can for the next uh, two days and see if we can. Uh, two days? Two days, today and tomorrow. So, we've identified two so far, so we're gonna go put a hook on it. Right there, right, right behind the boat. Yep. Okay, so, so we want. want to go up a little, up a little ways, and then drift back and hook it. Yep. Go ahead. That's heavy too. It should go straight down. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's going down. Down. All right, we're on the ground. Okay. Oh, we're on. I'll take us to the back a little bit. Oh yeah, there's something there. We're gonna hook it. I think we're hooking rocks. You don't hook me a rock, hook me a car. Are you on it? We on something. All right, just hold it here. Yeah, yeah we got, you got that one. You got a car? Yeah. You got, got yourself a car? We got a car. Oh, <laughs> I love it. All right, make hold tight. Okay, so I'm, now I'm gonna drag us backwards and make sure it's locked in. Then we're gonna take it to shore and we wanna be locked in. Okay. As I go to shore. Cool. Good job, Sam. Yeah. Didn't, even, didn't even need a worm on that hook, Roy. Nope, no motor oil or anything for bait. Yeah, yeah. he said we need to put a little motor oil on the hook for bait. <laughs> Give it a nice scent that cars like. Yeah, the other one's out here a little ways. It, it didn't seem like it was this close to the, yeah, yeah, don't touch it, yeah. It didn't seem like it was this close to the ramp, though. Hmm. Rock right there. Ready? Yep. Dragging, dragging, dragging. All right, so that's good. Now I'm gonna, like I said, I think it's right in line with this and then like five feet off of this right here. Feels like we're drifting away from the shore. Oh. Did you get it? Smelters, maybe. Ah, we got something. All right, so let's hold position there. And we'll see if we're on it. Yeah, you're, you're on. Let me, let me get one more good read, but yeah, I think you're. You should be on it right there. I think you're on the vehicle. Yeah. If not, then I'm gonna come straight back from there. So I'll I'll just stay on the bottom and then just come back just straight back. another 10 feet or so. Sounds good. All right, let's head, head over that big rock and we'll tie you off. Yeah. Perfect. All right. I was just thinking, I don't want to go in this motor in this river twice. Huh? I just want to hook this up. Wait, that was, I wanted to ride his motorcycle. Oh, he'll be back. Okay. 
Uh, what were you saying? I don't want to go down there twice. Uh -huh. So I just need to hook this entire thing while I'm down there. Yeah, you don't want to go there twice. Today's episode sponsor, with as cold as it is out here, is going to be O3 Custom Dry Suits, where they have undergarments, thermals, different thicknesses. Today I'm using the Extreme to get into the uh, mighty, muddy Missouri. In addition to that, I'll be using the O3 Custom Dry Suit. But it's not just dry suits they have, they also have wetsuits if you need a wetsuit as well. So do me a favor, O3 supporting us, so I would appreciate if you support them as well. Their link is in the description. I figure uh, we trade uh, rolls for a few hours. You know, that's what I was just saying to him when I was down there a little bit ago. Yeah. Sound like I'm going to be uh, driving a motorcycle for the next couple of hours, Dan. <laughs> Like, how much do we want to say about the conversation that we just had off camera with some uh, law enforcement? They were really good people. They're really nice, great supporters, just willing to help whatever they could. Um, there is a story mm -hmm. that these two cars that we're at right now, not going to be the blacks, but they are working on getting us some, some info as to the coordinates where a fisherman had pulled up a mirror and the mirror matches a Honda Civic and they are doing everything they, everything they can in the next couple of hours to track down these coordinates for us and they said that right after the blacks went in there was a big storm that came through like they had a hundred year storms they had two of them that came in like back to back and that this car is way down like we're talking just around the river, river bend. bend yeah I can't sing Anyway, like, like way, way, way down, down there. there. And, and it's possible. I mean, if there's a big storm and they had the car, you know, two to 10 minutes and yeah. it had not yet settled in and it has a big storm. The storm was so high, it was up over this bank. Like, think about how high they that said, is. They said they were taking out trees. So anyway, so that's where we're at right now. So we are gonna continue with the hooking up these two. We have a tow truck uh, later on mm -hmm. in route. And then we're also going to, if, fingers crossed, we can get these coordinates. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Right here to start. All right, you sure. Yeah, don't lose the end of this. Well. I'll tell you, overall, this is nothing to be afraid of. Yeah. As long as you stay down on the bottom. All right. Like and having a guide like that was perfect. Uh huh. I don't know where we bound up on the line I was taking down, but it got bound up somewhere. Okay. I thought maybe you were out of length, but you weren't. No. So we need to retrieve that somehow. Right now, because A, we were caught on a rock to begin with. Okay. But then I drifted back to where that truck was uh -huh. two great big great big pieces of concrete okay in the shape of a truck gotcha so that's all that was and i was like i just backed up 10 feet and ran right in right into it okay so that's concrete right so we got to pull in this line yep all right so we're going to take those lines we're going to go down here to the other orange one and i'm going to take the boat i'm just going to kind of hover just in case i need to chase him down I'm good. I'm happy. Thank you. Alright, so stay with the last one. The trick is to stay on the bottom. Don't float up. Lay like a turtle. And this one should only be out about 40 feet or so. About 8.5 to 10 feet down. What do we have here? Alright, I got some rusty metal. Alright, there's a wheel here. Alright, there's a wheel. There's a fender. I think this is the engine here. We get close to see. This is the bottom. Where is the engine? I believe that's the engine. I think it's red. It looks to be red in color. Alright, it is red. 
Alright, I found the steering wheel. Alright, reaching into the driver's seat. Driver's seat appears to be clear. Alright, see if we can get a plate on it. There is a plate on it. Alright, got one side off. Go, go, go. Alright, we have the plate. The plate is in hand. Still have not identified what kind of car this is. That's a really strong current over there. I'm gonna try to go to back around the other side. Get in the eddy. So now, can I attach a chain back here? I might be able to. Alright, not sure yet. Let's see if we can identify the front wheel. Attach a chain over there. I might just end up picking the license plate up first though, because it's actually not too difficult to get up and down here. So let's go ahead and run that up. That way I don't lose it. We're good. We have a plate in hand. Four five two WSG. I I have not hooked to the car yet. I'm heading back in. All right, back to the front drivers. Bill is where we're at. Now, can we get around this wheel? I think we might be able to. Feels like it. Bring it off of the orange line here. All right, we are disconnected from the orange line. All right, so right now I'm beating the chain around the front wheel from the top. I'm trying to get underneath the axle with it. But the sand is up to the axle, so I'm trying to dig underneath of it right now. I don't think that's gonna work though. Let's go to the back wheel again. By chance I can get to anything back there. All right, can we get up and under? Come on, go, 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 go. Come on. camera off. Yeah, what's going on down there? The um, chain that we're using. Yeah. Like, I, li I like these new great big chains, uh -huh. but we cannot be running uh, the twist hooks on both ends of it. Okay. And so we should have got the other one. So, my fault. And as such, I couldn't get around either one of the wheel wells. The oh, man. On the, so it's a red car. Okay, not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. I don't know what kind of car this is. Are you able to clear it or not really? I was able to clear the driver's side. The current on the other side is too strong. Okay. In fact, even just fighting that license plate yeah. was really difficult. With the chain, though, it has five star chrome wheels. Okay. So With, you went through the chrome wheels? So I went through the chrome wheel, is where I went to. That should be good. On the driver's rear. Ooh. But because the doohickey, uh -huh. the twist hook was so large, that's what I was fighting, was just trying to get it through, trying get to get through, through yeah. and then trying to get my arm up and then there and around there as well. Yeah. But I mean, this durability of the suit, like, there's no hole in me. Yeah, that's good. Like, I thought it was, but some of the cars, like, rusted off, and yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the um, hood is also missing on it. Let's follow up with PD, run the plate, uh -huh. see what the story is there. Well, where is the and then from there, let's see if he's uh, come up with any coordinates for us, and let's go see if we can find yeah. that car. Sounds great. Hey, Officer Ellerman, this is uh, Sam with Adventures with Purpose down here at the water. Hey, we located a car and I was wondering if we can give you guys uh, the tag, if you guys can run it. You sure can. All right, you ready? Yeah, yeah these, these other guys here, they were saying it looks like a Missouri, but to me it's so rusted and okay. black, I can't tell. Any, any luck on those uh, coordinates? The, the guy that I was talking to, uh -huh. he talked to the guy that was on the boat and he just came down. Sweet, so that's awesome. I figured, I figured he, he might have caught you guys before he took off on them. All right, real cool. All right, real cool, real cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for him. All right, yeah, he's down there. He's, he, I guess he, he knows you guys, so he's like, heck yeah, I'll go down there and talk to him. Heck yeah, that's so, awesome, man. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm gonna get hold of my dispatch and I'll let you guys know. Thank you, all right, bye-bye. All right, bye. Hello. Hey, sir, how you doing? Good. 
One of the cops called and said, uh, nice to meet you. Finally get to see you guys. Follow oh, oh, you on man. Facebook. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah, so we, heard the that, we heard that RNS Automotive is coming down to donate some brand new Chevy pickups, so we yes, really want to thank you. give a big shout out to them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really not happening. One of the cops said something about, um, one of, a fisherman pulled a, was fishing there probably a month or two ago, and he was fishing and he snagged something really tight, and uh, so he yanked on it, and a mirror came out. And so they ran the part numbers, and it kind of matched the description of what they thought was the blacks. So okay. He pulled the lens out of that. Oh, house, wow. And that came up. And that's huh? what we were thinking. He actually was snagged into that. Okay. So I don't know. And the uh, agency that was down here said that they actually received word back that, they caught, that the caught that they ran the part number and that it came, came back, back as a Honda some, Civic. Yeah. We don't know what year. Don't know what year. It's a Honda no. Civic. I don't think there's too many Honda Civics in the river here, Sam. No, it's a. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Yep. We, need to, we need to get there. It'd take me a minute to figure out how to get there, but Public you can access? get there. Uh, maybe. I don't maybe. know. Okay. I don't know. I think right. you can get there. Okay. Way from here is going to be the problem. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, map here, and I think that if we just go across the tracks here, make a left on Wood Wood Road, and then down to oh, which one was it? That one there. I got it. You just followed me. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I guarantee he's gonna come talk to us. Now, this is the tricky part. Because this one here <laughs> shows that this is a road to the right that goes down to the levee down there. Uh -huh. Okay, we got a long ways to go on, check it out, ready for this? Hold on, check it out right here. This right here. No. Yeah, that's our road. Jared, that's th this is a road? Yeah, right there. It's, you gotta be kidding me. No, look, it's our road. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be a case of Jared did it. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even see where we're going. You're doing great. <laughs> I don't even see where we're at. There's two tracks right there. Oh, all right. Here we go. Oh, great. Right on them. See, I can just drive blind. I'll just look at the uh, drone. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty good at it. Yeah. yeah, so here's our road. <laughs> you ready? I'm going to give him, I'm gonna give him a couple of stomps on the ground. Yeah, let's do Tell it. him to go. Ready? Okay. Don't have any angry farmers coming after us yet, so that's good. Not quite. And our, our boat's still trailing. They definitely probably see us now. Oh, they totally see us. Hey, we're going to the farm field. Hold on. Farm field. All right, you ready for me? Ready? Hanging on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little path right there to go back up. I think Jared's probably eyeballing it. <laughs> we made it here. I don't know if we'll make it out, but we made it here. There you go. Awesome. All right, looks like right here. Yep, we'll just go in there. All right. If you are enjoying this episode, will you please do me a favor? Click that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. But most importantly, hit that subscribe button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. So if you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you're on Facebook, hit that follow and like button. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, we don't know what else is coming up yet, <laughs> do we? No. <laughs> yes.
Deep post, Jeff. Also looks like trees. Yeah, we have like no throttle control. By golly, we just might have a car here. Right over here to the right. So we're gonna throw some uh, 360 on it. Definitely is something. So, I mean, it almost looks like a boat though. See, see that's like on its side here? I, mean, I can't classify that as a Civic. Oh, oh, and then we got something right there in front. Hold on, wait a minute. The wheels I'm seeing, I mean, you know how like the cars shine different than the trees. That's what I'm picking up on right now. But I'm not I'm, I'm not convinced that it's a car though. But if it's buried, like Byron was saying though, if it's buried in silt and it's on its side. Yeah. I mean, I want to be so convinced that something is here because of what the fisherman supposedly found. Yeah. But I'm just not seeing anything that like indicates hey we need to dive here I mean I have I have something that pops up shiny every once in a while it's definitely a log there not a car yeah I'm calling this one we got nothing here I wanted to see a car Byron so did I no car back up to the other uh, two boat ramps hey Dan <laughs> looks like the farmers coming oh, after no. all <laughs> There he is. Thank you. Thank you. So far we've been able to talk our way out of yeah. everything. So far. Yes. <laughs> On that note, it's been a long day of searching. We have one vehicle that we're going to end up doing tomorrow. We're going to do more searching for day two of Bob and Mary Black. Wish us well on that one. If you've not already done so, please do us a favor. Subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And we'll see you on the next one. That's it for now. Later, later. Bye-bye.